Hello. Just a reminder about what we do in the first few lessons of your violin lessons. So if you've got a shoulder rest, you need to put it on the back and the feet hook over the side. If you've got a curved one, it will look like a sad face when you hold the violin like this. Now the first way thing we learn is how to hold our violin in rest position. We tuck it under our armpit so we can keep it nice and safe. We have to make sure our left thumb goes on the button and our fingers curve round. And this is called rest position. We do this when we are um, listening or we are just having a rest. Next, we remember we stand up tall and we arm out in front, statue. Then our shoulder rest goes on our shoulder, our chin goes on our chin rest, and our arm stays nice and straight with our thumb on the bottom. Okay, so we'll do that again. Rest position, statue playing position. Okay, <clears throat> so if you've managed to do that, give me a thumbs up. So with our thumb, we hook our wriggly thumb onto the corner of the black, not this bit, not the corner of the violin, the corner of the black. We get our pointy finger and we do a few strums. Now have to think about the names of the strings. From lowest to highest, it's G, D, A and E, or G, D, A and E. Now if you remember we had on the violin, that is on the violin. So if you remember, we remember it, good dogs always eat. Good dogs always eat. If you've got a viola, it's C, G, D, A, K, G, D, A. So let's statue, violin in playing position, thumbs up, hook it on, pointy first finger. We're going to do some four Gs. If you're on a viola, you can do four Cs. Then four Ds, if you're on a viola, you do four Gs. Then four As, if you're on a viola, you do four Ds. And lastly, four Es, but if you're on a viola, four As. Good, hope that's all clear.